But what is going on, everybody? We are here at Magic Kingdom because today is a joyous occasion, Rach. It is. It's a celebration. Today is the day that Tiana's Bayou Adventure has officially opened. That's and right. so we're here for all of it. We're here for the ride. We were here for the ride, <laughs> but we couldn't get a virtual queue. Both times. We even tried at 1 o'clock. That's okay. So we're going to walk around and show you guys what they're offering today. Right. We'll check out some food and yeah. check out some merch. Yeah. You know, stuff like that. So let's go see what we can get into. Hey, June looks a lot like the lost member of the Jackson 5. I feel more like Rudy from Fat Albert's Junkyard Band. Hey, hey, hey. So the Emporium is where Ray saw some merch, and so we're going to go in there first. I came here this morning and I had to stand way back there in a long line. So I had to wait for like 25 minutes, but it wasn't bad waiting. It was just that sun was beaming. Now there's no line. You can pretty much just walk in. They turned the whole front area of the Emporium into all Tiana merchandise. It was very organized and I appreciate that. My shopping was effortless and June was like, well, you're done already? And I was already back at home. We made it in the Emporium. And Ray has already been there, like she mentioned already. She's already shopped, but I want to show you guys some of the merchandise available for Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Over here, they have a lovely, lovely, lovely Tiana's Bayou Adventure spirit jersey. I will tell you this right now, I am biased. So everything in here, to me, is going to be lovely because it's Tiana, and I just love Tiana. How much is that, Ray? $84.99. Okay. You have on your adventurous apparel. Take us on an adventurous tour. All right, they have these cute ears, Tiana's Bayou Adventure. They do light up. They have Lewis on one side. It says Tiana's Bayou Adventure on, on the other. And then on the back, it's just like little lily pads. I like that they light up. I think they're very pretty. They are $39.99. These are $39.99 as well. These are the ones you guys saw me buy when I was in New York at the Disney store. They're so cute for 39 bucks. And here is the lounge fly that is $78.99 for Tiana's Bayou, which has a lot of the characters on here. And it's her ride, so she has her own lounge fly. Some little fireworks on the side. A little lily pad in the back. Really nice. This Tiana Foods mug is only $18.99, which is not bad. I like the pretty color because it's a nice little minty green. Now we're kind of moving into her home collection. So right behind me is the apron. I'm going to show you guys her apron. It is really cute. And this is 40 bucks. This is a spice rack. It doesn't move, but it's still really, really cute. Look at this. Perfect for your kitchen counter. It's that special spices. This is $54.99. They have this cute little pot holder. And this is only $20. Look how gorgeous. And see, I am loving her hairstyle. So I think because I keep cutting my hair just because I'm going through this thing where I'm just, I don't know, I keep going shorter every time I go to the hair salon. But if I had black hair, I would definitely rock this. $34.99, look at the back. This purse though, let's talk about this coin purse. Oh my gosh, it is gorgeous. My grandma used to buy us coin purses from the dollar store when I was growing up. Well, back then it was called the 99 cent store. And she would always put some like little money in there and stuff. And I used to be so excited. And this just reminds me of that. It also has a strap where you can make it like a crossbody. You know what? I need this. I'm actually buying this. I didn't know you could make this a crossbody. I will buy this first. I don't want to go back to my locker again. But I will come back in here and get this for $35 because this is really adorable. Man, I like it a lot. So they have this really cute, interactive, little light up Ray. He is so cute. He sits on your shoulder and if say you're in line and someone else has one, they interact with each other. Their little booties light up. Don't forget if you're gonna bring them, make sure you charge them because he won't work if you don't charge them. He's only $32. They also have a lot of kid merchandise. Like this little sling bag is adorable. I was wondering if I could rock it for $29, but I don't think the strap is made for Big Ray. <laughs> So I'm a little sad. The kids have a lot of cute clothes, dresses. I'm over here wondering why they didn't make a romper for us. They made it for the kids. So I'm actually heartbroken. Maybe Disney will come out with something like that for us because I would totally rock this romper. Look how beautiful. And this is $100. Okay, they do have annual pass holder t-shirts still in stock, which I'm very surprised. All sizes up to a 3X, which is amazing. And the pass holder t-shirts are $29.99. So they do have plenty of merchandise that came here this morning and they just keep on restocking, so that is good. And while I was looking at the pass holder exclusive shirt, somehow this magic band just appeared in my hand that I have to go buy. <laughs> I feel like I need this. 
The Magic Band is $44.99. They do have mobile checkout, so I'm actually getting ready to mobile checkout so we can keep it moving and I can just throw it in my bag real fast. Look how cute Lewis is. He is a cuddly. So you can lay him on your bed, your couch, or wherever you want, or just take him with you and you can cuddle with him. I know Brooklyn's gonna want him. I'm not gonna buy him because I'm gonna let her come here and pick out her stuff. He is $44.99, but they all cost the same amount. He's so cute. And he has a little trumpet. Finally, after what feels to be about two hours, Ray is leaving. Did you get everything you need, Ray? I saw some posts, the beignets that they're gonna have here. Princess Tiana's famous beignets. They looked a lot different from the first offering that they had. And so now we're gonna go see if they got it right. I'm hoping so. The crowd said they aren't looking that bad. Golden Oak Outpost is right ahead. And there seems to be a line. So they are currently out of gumbo, but this is what they're offering. Tiana's famous beignets, hot honey chicken with sweet potato fries, yes. and shrimp gumbo with sweet and potato I fries. I lied, they do have gumbo. Make it rain. Ray, you sure you don't want to eat in Birdland? Oh no, thanks. All right, I got my gumbo with my sweet potato fries. You can't mess up a sweet potato fry. The gumbo is very, very thick. It would have been cool if they put it on a bed of rice. It does have andouille sausage in it. They cut the okra up into little tiny pieces so you don't really see it in there. <laughs> the flavor is delicious. But, there's a huge but. I cannot eat this. They put so much okra even though it's chopped up finely. It has that really slimy consistency to it. Darn, and, I, and it's really good and I really wanted it but I can't. If you love okra, you will love this. But that sliminess, mm -mm. The Festival of Fantasy is getting ready to go on. June has chicken nuggets with a honey sauce on it, and they chopped a bunch of little olives on top. I like the concept. The nuggets are kind of over fried. the hot honey chicken with sweet potato fries. I used to live in New Orleans. I don't ever recall going to a restaurant that had hot honey chicken with sweet potato fries. This is something that uh, the Disney Imagineers have put together. <laughs> let me let you know what's in it. Their chicken nuggets tossed in hot sauce honey served with New Orleans olive relish and Cajun spiced sweet potato fries. I took a bite of one already, just so y'all know. <laughs> there is a sweetness to it, to the hot honey sauce, obviously because it's honey. It's not that hot. Um, some people who can't tolerate heat at all, it may be hot to you, but to me, it's not that hot. But this is basically a chicken nugget with hot honey sauce on it. How does it taste? It tastes like a chicken nugget with hot honey sauce on it. It's really plain and simple. It doesn't have that wow factor. I didn't eat this and like, ooh, let's go get some more. It was just like, that's very unique. And that's what it is. I'm still eating it, all of it, because I paid for it. I noticed that the chicken has like muffaletta toppings to it. So if you ever had a muffaletta, they have like olives and peppers and onions. That's what this looks like. I'm not understanding why they would put the olive dressing and the chicken tenders and the hot honey sauce together. Uh, this is not my favorite. Does it join the book of things we don't speak of? Not necessarily, but almost. <laughs> There's no excitement. There's no Mardi Gras festival going on. My mouth, pause. I can't say that I can recommend these. You may like them, so try it for yourself. This is just my opinions, my thoughts. I had to trade my gumbo in for the hot honey chicken because I couldn't deal with the slime of the okra. Honestly, this wasn't my favorite. I do like the sweet potato fries, so that's that. Let's move on to the beignets. Now looking at the beignets, just right off the bat, they are pillowy. Um, I've been to New Orleans. I've had beignets plenty of time. I've never had them with honey. Um, the only time I've ever seen honey was in the Princess and the Frog movie. So they are going off the movie. They did sprinkle it with honey and they threw some powdered sugar on it. Two things I do like. I love honey and I love powdered sugar. So I think this might be pretty good. Let's just see what it looks like on the inside. Sorry. 
Oh, it's crispy. Totally different from the ones that they gave us a couple months ago. However, they did overcook them because they're not supposed to be hard. Like, I'm supposed to be able to bite into this, and this is very, very hard. They're not bad. I think I like the ones at Port Orleans better. If they're trying to really make a beignet, I think they're a little bit more fluffier. Maybe it'd have been better if they didn't overcook them. The honey on it is pretty good. At first glance, I noticed that there's honey on the beignet. Secondly, the consistency of this, it's not really beignet -y. Let's get some more powdered sugar. And take a bite. And I think it's gonna be delicious because it's basic ingredients. I didn't think I was gonna like it because I'm not a honey fan, but this isn't awful. It's a difference, and it's pretty good. I just need a little bit more powdered sugar on here, so hold on. And I'm failing at the attempt to get more powdered sugar. You know what I'm gonna do, Rex? I'm gonna get a white bag, and I'm gonna take these beignets and the powdered sugar that they already give us, pour it in that, shake it around, and see if it coats it a little bit better than this is coated. Right, they should, because I like my beignets full and doused with powdered sugar. So it's not even like sticking on here, which is weird. <laughs> Now my beard is black. If I would've got beignets from Cafe Dumont, I'd look like Colonel Sandals right now. My whole beard would be white. We had to try the lemonade. Um, somebody helped themselves first. We did have to mix it up because I took a sample off the top and it was very like watery with a light hint of lemon. So I mixed, now it tastes really good. It's like a lavender lemonade, it's yummy. Ray and I were not fans of the food offerings at Golden Oak Outpost. It didn't capture the essence of New Orleans. Try it for yourselves. Let us know right. how you feel about the offerings because we want to know. So, yeah, just let us know in the comments. I don't recall ever seeing this, Rach. <music> Tiana's by your adventure. We were not able to get the virtual queue today, but I did ride it. And I will say it's one of my favorite rides now. It's the same ride track as the previous attraction. It's just themed differently. I would say it's just as fun, but it's more fun to me. The 50 foot drop is still there, and it feels a lot more modern. Hey, Ray, I'm a little jealous what? of the people who were able to get the virtual queue. But you know what? Hmm. We did write it before. So other people who never had a chance kind of getting a chance. We live here, we'll try again tomorrow. And that's what I love about you, Rach. So positive. As we are walking to Critical Out, I can see that Big Thunder Mountain has a 60 minute wait, which is about average. Right over here is the Critic Co-op. It is not open right now, but when it becomes available, we'll make sure we bring it to you. Tiana's Bayou Adventure. This is where you enter the queue. So if you are successful in getting your virtual queue this morning, you'll line up over here. And here's a sign that says Tiana's Bayou Adventure, and it points to the left from where I'm standing. What I'm loving right now is I see a whole bunch of Princess Tiana representation going on, so you gotta love it. If they got a little photo op, maybe we're holding a frog. Cause I can't be kissing a frog again. Ray, you gotta hold the tambourine. So that was a nice little photo opportunity. So we don't know who we're getting, what we're getting, or what we just did. We just stood there because they told us to stand there, hold right. the little tambourine, and that's what we did. Right, we could have taken a picture just now with Bigfoot, and we would never know <laughs> until the picture comes out and see who we just took a picture with. But that was a magic shot. I'm curious as to who we just took a picture with or what it is that they're gonna add. All right, so what's going on over here? I'm Tiana's cousin. I help run her establishment. I'm her business partner. This is where you pick up your photos from the ride once you get off. Soon this is supposed to be a store, but I feel like we got a bunch of selfie walls up in here. Let me get my camera out. Tiana's General Store is a place where you can grab some red beans and some rice if you want to make some, a whole big bag, a Costco bag of it, right? They have king cake ingredients and the recipe, a cookbook. If you want some yakamain or some dirty rice, there's recipes for all of that in the menu book. Don't be going in there trying to buy that because you're not going to buy it. Yeah, don't do it. <laughs> We're out here on the outside of the club hating. So how are we going to hate when we can't even get in? If the footage came out all right because I rode the ride already, we're going to add little snippets of when we did do the cast preview. What else we're gonna get into? Um, 
I mean, I think that's it. I'm actually trying to make Tori get on Tron with me because we got a virtual queue. Will you get on Tron, babe? Nope. So we're in Frontierland and I noticed you can buy Ray in the little carts on the side if you miss them in the store. What's going on? Hey, Big Al. Love the vest. It's a vest kind of day. How you doing? Nice fedora. Hey, Ray. What's up, babe? Sleepy Hollow Refreshments is coming up on the left of us. Yes, we're going to get some free water there. I heard that they no longer sell the Nutella waffle. Food. Tell me it ain't so. Yes, it is gone. And instead, they have the berries, powdered sugar, and whipped cream. And next to that, they have the chocolate, hazelnut spread, bananas, and whipped cream. It's like taking the one and splitting them into two. This is different, too. So instead of a regular Eggo waffle, they have the sweet and spicy maple chicken on a Mickey waffle. This sandwich is going to be better because there's no coleslaw. It's going to be better than who? To me. So I got the chocolate hazelnut waffle. It has bananas and whipped cream on it. Ooh, this got my mouth watering, actually. Listen to that. Listen to all that crunchiness. Ooh, I'm trying to get it on the pork. Ooh, does that look good? Mmm, mmm, mmm. I know this is going to be my favorite thing in this entire park. I'm going to eat this every time I come here. Mmm, the funnel cake is just like a perfect crispiness. This is delicious. I would highly recommend you guys trying this. Y'all listen to the crunch. Mmm. Oh. So they put some really ripe bananas on here because they're extra sweet. This is good the way it is. Don't add powdered sugar to it. We're at Princess Fairytale Hall, and we're here to see our favorite, Princess Tiana. Right, how long is the wait time, love? 70 minutes? Good lord. Guess who we're not going to see today? Princess Tiana, we love you. Don't get me wrong, we came here to represent, girl. However, 70 minutes is a long time, so therefore, we'll come back another day and see you. We love you. Congratulations on your ride opening today. We're gonna head out of this park because I think it's gonna start raining again and I don't wanna get my boots wet. June tried to make me forget that there was a Tiana cup and I knew I was not leaving here until I found it. I totally forgot. I was really leaving, trying to beat the rain, but we found it, so we're gonna buy it. Let me show you what it looks like. We got two Tiana sippers. $18. Now, if you want a drink, it is an additional fee. So I didn't get a drink because I wasn't paying an extra additional fee. But I got my little sippers. I got one for Brooke. The drink goes in the straw that swirls around the cup. And then look. Hey, girl. I didn't even tell you guys what's on the cup. So we have Lewis on one side. And then we have Ray. And then we have Tiana's restaurant. Let's go. Now we can leave the park. It's about to rain, and so what that means to us is we need to hightail it over to our car and call it a day. We had a great day over here at Magic Kingdom. Tiana's Bayou Adventure has opened officially today. Yes. And even though we didn't get a virtual queue, that's all right. We still had a good day. Me and my Applejack hat still enjoyed ourselves. Right, and I just realized mine look like Peter Van hat. You know what, you're right. I'm looking the, missing the feather. Go, 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 go! Anyway, thank you guys for hanging out with us. We really appreciate it. And until next time, mwah, bye! We will talk to y'all later. Bye!